Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll continue to speak about the test editor tool, which allows you to create all kinds of exercises. If you need an introduction to the test editor tool, please have a look at our other video. We're going to do a slightly more complex worksheet containing more complex exercises. We'll make a cover sheet for the worksheet at the end, and we'll set a timer as well to limit the time available to do the worksheet. After the time expires, the system won't accept further answers. Let's start with an ordering exercise. First, enter the question. It's important to specify how the answers should be ordered, to start with the earliest or the last one, to start at the top right or top left, and so forth. The instruction will be, put the following historical events into chronological order, starting with the earliest. Let's find an image that we can put into the exercise. Revolution is a very good theme. I choose the image and insert it into the exercise. I also make some adjustments because I don't want to use the whole image. Now it's time to type the possible answers. As in the case of the previous exercises, you need to set the correct order. When you're ready, Save the exercise and click on this icon to add another exercise to your worksheet. Let the next one be a gap filling exercise. Click on gap filling. In this case, look for content in other sources so you can insert a text here. You can find great texts in our digital textbooks. Select a textbook and choose the parts you wish to include in your exercise. Click on the text icon, select the text, put it on the clipboard, and paste it into the test editor. You can edit the text in the exercise. Let's also insert an image into the exercise from the textbook. Select words and drag them to the correct places. If you don't enter your own question, the question will automatically be the text shown in the question field. Double click on the words to select them and then press the plus button. Let's choose another background for this exercise as well, and don't forget to save it. We have two exercises. Now let's click on Chains in the Test Editor tool to create a chain exercise. We're going to make a literary chain. Enter the instructions in the title field. Create chains with the author, the title of the work, and the main characters. Titles include The Red and the Black, Othello, War and Peace. As you know, these are famous literary works. Add the characters Pierre Bezuhov, Desdemona, Julien Sorel. All you need to do now is insert images. Mozabook can help you with that as well. Look for the Hall of Fame tool.
find Tolstoy, Shakespeare, and Stendhal, the authors of these literary works. If you want to, you can customize the color of the chains. Now we've created three exercises. Let's make a cover page for the worksheet, which should be completed according to the instructions. Perfect. We also have a timer inserted. Let's add an image as well. Open the media library and search inside Moza Book's own offline gallery. Drag and drop this image of a clock here. Remove the frame and customize your clock. The timer automatically suggests a time limit. Let's give students a bit more time to do this worksheet, though. You can give a brief instruction. For example, you have 10 minutes to complete this worksheet. Click on this icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the worksheet to modify the order of the exercises. Including the timer as well. If you change your mind and don't want an exercise, just click on the rubbish bin icon to delete it. All you have to do now is upload your worksheet to MozaWeb. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.